Live from London, this is BBC News. One person has been killed and at least 30 are seriously injured in a train crash in the Netherlands. This is the scene live right now in Voorschoten in the Netherlands where the train derailed after hitting construction equipment on the track. Former President Donald Trump arrives in New York ahead of his appearance in court facing criminal charges. Finland will officially become a member of NATO later on Tuesday. And Australia bans TikTok on all government-owned devices because of safety concerns. Hello, welcome to the programme. I'm Lewis Vaughan-Jones. We're going to start with this breaking news out of the Netherlands. One person confirmed dead, about 30 injured. Uh, this is in a train crash uh, there. We can take you uh, to these live pictures. Rescue teams obviously uh, at the scene of the uh, accident as they have been since uh, shortly after it happened. It's about half past three in the morning local time about half past one in the morning, uh, GMT. Okay, Hugo, thanks for that. Around the world and across the UK, this is BBC News. I'm now back in my school in Rpin. Now there is a good shelter here and we can finish our drawings. It's good that it was restored. You're live with BBC News. I'm Lewis Vaughan-Jones. I want to take you straight back to the Netherlands. Our breaking news uh, from there, the awful news that uh, one person has been confirmed dead and about 30 injured in a train crash there. These are the live pictures, as you can see. It's just gone quarter past eight in the morning there. So there is daylight to try and assess uh, the damage and try and work out what happened. It actually happened at about... Uh, well, let's just show you where it happened. Uh, between The Hague and uh, Amsterdam there. And a, uh... Right, I just want to um, take you back to the Netherlands. Our breaking news this hour. Confirmation that one person is dead and about 30 are injured as a result of this train crash here. This was a passenger uh, train travelling through the night and it crashed at about 3.30 in the morning local time there in the Netherlands near to the village of Voorschutte, uh, that's between Amsterdam and The Hague. Um, we believe it hit something on the track, some construction equipment, a crane, um, but we are uh, working to establish the precise details of that. Of course, you can see emergency uh, services were on the scene through the night and are still there this morning. People being treated uh, in hospitals, those who are seriously injured and others treated in nearby homes, uh, we're told as well. We're expecting uh, an update a little later. We'll keep you uh, right up to date with that. And the other uh, live uh, news right now, of course, is in New York. And these are pictures of Trump Tower, where Donald Trump is spending uh, the night before his appearance in court later on Tuesday. And the eyes of so much of the world's media will be focused on New York and Donald Trump a little later. That's it though for the moment. I'm Lewis Vaughan-Jones. This is BBC News. BBC News, the latest business news from across the globe. World Business Report. This is BBC World News. I'm Victoria Valentine. These are our top business stories. The space dream aborted. Richard Branson's Virgin, Virgin Orbit files for bankruptcy. The energy battle is heating up. The EU and the US meet to hammer out a joint policy to bolster energy supplies. And scrapping the 100 millilitre liquid rule an airport in London rolls out high-tech scanners for all passengers. 
and feeling stressed. I certainly am. April is Stress Awareness Month. So we dive a little deeper into a subject we could have a little less of. Hello there, we start with some breaking news in the past hour or so. Richard Branson's Virgin Orbit has filed for bankruptcy. The satellite launch company failed to secure long-term funding needed to help it recover from a January rocket failure. We can speak now to Mark Oswald, who's the Chief Economist and Market Strategist at ADMISI. Um, Mark, we were sort of expecting this, I guess. It was very difficult to recover from something like this. Uh, but where does this leave the space race? Around the world and across the UK, this is BBC News. In the world of business, everything is connected. From global hubs to places less travelled. The big stories to your bottom line. The path can be unpredictable. With the right insights, you can see where the bend in the road will lead. Business on BBC News. Make the connection. The Dutch government wants to cut tens of thousands of flights here at Schiphol Airport to help reduce noise pollution. Airlines launched a legal battle to try to stop them. This week, a judge decides. Join me, Anna Holligan, on BBC News. You're live with BBC News. Now, the days of taking out liquids and laptops from your bag at airport security are over only if you're travelling from London City Airport in the UK at the moment. From today, the airport will have new high-tech scanners in place of all their security lanes. And it's the first airport in the UK to do this, but not the first in the world. But our transport correspondent, Katie Austin, is there. She's live at London City Airport. So this airport being the first to end the tyranny of tiny toiletries, how's it going? And quickly looking at markets for you, Asian markets slipping a little bit on Tuesday. Investors grappling with inflation concerns in the wake of the surprise cut from OPEC plus to oil output targets. The European stocks are due to nudge a little up. Live from London, this is BBC News. A passenger train crash in the Netherlands kills one person and injures at least 30. Finland will officially become a member of NATO later on Tuesday. Former President Donald Trump arrives in New York ahead of his appearance in court facing criminal charges. And Australia bans TikTok on all government-owned devices because of safety concerns. Hello, I'm Lewis Vaughan-Jones. Welcome to the programme. We're going to start with that breaking news from uh, the Netherlands. One person confirmed dead and around 30 injured in this train crash. Uh, these are pictures from overnight. We know the crash happened at about uh, half past three in the morning, uh, local time, but half past one GMT. And uh, you can see uh, this is the wreckage of the train, about 50 passengers on board. And we now know 30 or so injured and one confirmed uh, dead. And we're going to go straight to our correspondent, uh, Anna Holligan, 
uh, who has uh, some of the latest details for us. Uh, uh, good morning there, uh, Anna. What do we know? Thanks to Hugo for that. Around the world and across the UK, this is BBC News. What I love most about my job and what makes it most unique is the ability to tell stories about people from all over the world, give them a platform to be able to share their stories and I love doing it whether it's in the studio or out in the field. The focus of my storytelling uh, throughout my career has been women and children, those who have been impacted by conflict, by upheaval. I often find in my storytelling that the issues that concern a young woman in Kabul is also something Something that young women here in London are also thinking about. So we are far more connected. Our concerns, whether that's about childcare or about the cost of living or about energy prices, is something that's truly global. And so to be able to bring uh, UK audiences, those stories, into their living rooms, on their mobile phones, on their digital platforms, is so critical in an increasingly uh, interconnected world. You're live with BBC News. I'm Lewis Vaughan Jones. Next, the Australian government says TikTok will be banned on all government devices because of fears over security. Similar bans already in place in, in other countries too. Uh, our correspondent is uh, Phil Mercer in Sydney and I asked him if this move had been expected. Right, just before I go, I want to take you back to New York. Mark your card for a very significant uh, event happening later. You can see it's just uh, coming up to half past three in the morning there. That's Trump Tower, Donald Trump due to face charges in that New York courtroom in a few hours time. The hour, uh, well, the eyes of the uh, US and indeed much of the world will be on at New York. We'll have uh, full coverage of that. At the moment though, I'm Lewis Vaughan Jones. This is BBC News. Bye bye. Hello. There's some real contrast in the weather across Europe, west to east at the moment.